I don't know if you've ever noticed, but there are two different sets of things which are visible here between our mixer and our tracks. One of the things I really like to do is make sure I have some sort of master track up here. So if I want to automate it down volume wise, I can do that. And in the past, the way that I've had to do this is come down here and select the one that I want, come up to options and say, create track for selected channel strips. At least that's the way I always thought we had to do that in order to be able to have the track attached from the mixer. Now, this is only the case because there are some things down in the mixer which don't just automatically show up. If you click on all, this all filter, you'll see a couple other ones that are like that. Preview is one of them, and the click is one of them as well. So if we wanted to, we could put the click right up there next to the other ones, just like that. That way we could, if we wanted the click to get louder and softer at various times, we could do that. So this now becomes automatable in terms of volume. We can put the click softer for sections where there's less instrumentation and louder for places where it can handle it. Really cool thing you can do with it. I don't know why that this just isn't automatically up there all the time. However, I noticed one little quirk about this, and that is the master here if you click on it, it shows up with some presets over on the left. Now, this master track doesn't actually have any place for inserts, and so you can click on these, but it doesn't do anything. So it's just kind of interesting that they're assigned. But this is when the thing that I didn't know happened at some point with an update, I must have missed it, there is a new option, or an option now, that says Show Output Track with Shift-Command-M. So if you do shift command M, it brings up the stereo out right here. You can create the track for the selected one, but it's already up there. Let's take it back off. Command shift M. So you can create it both ways. But the nice thing about this is that we have this key command which allows us to very quickly put that stereo output right up inside your main arrange area. And so now you could do this with the master or with the stereo output. And one of the things that I've always wondered is why we have to have a stereo out and a master. It mostly has to do with when you have multiple outputs and an interface with multiple different outputs you can have different things going to different places and then one master to rule them all. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone out there has a different interpretation of why there's a master and a stereo out, let me know. But for the most part, this is our volume control. We move this. You'll see this knob up here moves. And so whatever we do with this, turns up and down the level of the whole thing and the stereo output. You can have multiple things for multiple different hardware outputs and you can actually process them. So this is where, for instance, we would do our mastering and we would want this to be up at Unity. And then if it's too loud for what we're doing, we can turn it down here. But when we're exporting it, we would typically have all of these set to Unity and so that it would go straight out at the full level. And if you were to bounce this down with the master turned down, you would get silence. And so it does go through both of these things. So just two different stages at the end to be able to control what's going on. Okay, anyway, I thought some of this was interesting. I hope that you found it interesting. I hope that you are using this output track up here, especially when you're doing fade outs or other mastering type tasks. And I hope you're having a good week. Talk to you later.